The Aegean supports some of the most important remaining marine mammal populations in the Mediterranean and Europe. There are many threats to marine mammals in the area, including increased shipping activity, reduced food supply from overfishing, and also threats from illegal fishing techniques and from some fishermen whose nets become damaged. We carry out surveys to monitor a pod's size and activity in relation to these threats in order to help implement their protection. I've attended six out of the seven strandings that we've had this summer. We've had one Mediterranean monk seal, then we had two dolphin strandings on the same day. It was a striped dolphin and a common dolphin. And then we had three turtle strandings a bit later on in the year. We've just recently had a rizzo dolphin. The Mediterranean monk seal, its death was indicative of a dynamite fishing in the area. The others have yet to be sent away. It's difficult to tell unless you've actually got some sort of ecotoxicological results. We work really closely with like local fishermen and the local community, so we're constantly monitoring fishing activities and if there's anything illegal. With the trawlers, for instance, their limit is 1.5 miles from shore, and if we see that they're fishing closer, we report them as well. It's kind of difficult because the port police don't enforce a lot of the legislation, so it's a bit of a battle. We've been working closely with um, local schools and communities trying to um, raise awareness about pollution like in forms of like debris that wash up on the beaches and things, because quite often that can be a cause of death. Turtles will mistake plastic bags for jellyfish because they're underwater, it looks really similar. Um, and there's been a lot of cases, not just in the Mediterranean, but worldwide, where they found after like the cropsies, like their stomachs are full of plastics or their esophagus is blocked with plastic bags. So it's quite a problem. Our marine mammal surveys are conducted using visual sensors through observation and acoustic tracking with a hydrophone. From these surveys, we can record marine mammal movements and communication, allowing us to develop a greater understanding into their behaviour in the wild. UVC is underwater visual sensors, and it's a technique to assess the biodiversity and species richness of fish, vertebrates and algae around the area. Ultimately the data gained will be used to put forward in proposals for being protected areas and in order to do that we need scientific evidence to be able to prove the areas by diversity so our data will be towards that. Seagrass beds, they're important nursery grounds for all the commercial fish species and local species that are commercially fished here, so their protection is key. We also take any photographs and water photographs, which are obviously great evidence for the species that are there and great for public awareness. This part of the gene is extremely biodiverse. So having the area protected is obviously a high priority. More data is more scientific evidence, and you need scientific evidence if you want to make a change in today's world. We carry out hydrographic surveys using echo sounding and sonar. 
The data from this can be used to map seafloor topography and the extent of marine habitats, such as the protected Posidonia seagrass beds. We also collect sediment grab samples for the ground truthing of the echo sounder and sonar data, but also to test for marine pollutants. Through the work of Archipelagos and our dedicated marine team, we hope to raise awareness of the incredible richness and diversity of the Mediterranean the challenges it faces and the ways in which we can ensure its protection.